I had to come out of hiatus because this message is so important. This new moon in solar eclipse has potentially paradigm shifting capabilities. Let's talk about it. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra. Welcome to the Bee Community. On this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, and so much more. And, you know, I used to do these moon readings quite often. I am on a sort of hiatus. I'm kind of rolling back into it, starting to make some new content. It has been about six weeks. I know that my vlog made, made it seem like I was just taking the break, but it was actually six weeks into my break that I uh, posted it. So... Uh, yes, so I want to talk about the new moon in Scorpio, October 25th, and the solar uh, eclipse because it's so important. And I just want to make sure that everybody waiting for this energy reading has what they need in order to navigate the cosmos gracefully. It doesn't mean that I'm back with the energy readings yet. It's just like this one needed to needed to be said. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the solar eclipse, the heightened energy it's bringing us. I have a channeled message from this oracle. Um, that's going to help us work through this energy, a list of themes and things to do. There's some warnings and I'll also give you some journaling prompts at the end, which I know that everybody loves. But before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is me, Alchemy by LA. If you don't already know, we make these magical spiritual amulets. They're imbued with sacred codes. Um, harnessing divine power in order to manifest the will of its wearer. I have full belief and faith in my amulets, you guys. My mom was sick recently, really sick. And the first thing I said was put the healing amulet on her. That's how much faith I have in them, right? Um, I felt scared that I wasn't with her and I couldn't do much. But I fully believe that putting on that amulet was asking for the grace and miraculous healing and the divine. And thank God she's all better now. Thank God. So I'm wearing the guardian amulet right now because I've been feeling into some abrasive energy lately. There's a lot of chaotic energy and it could be coming from this solar eclipse, which we've already been feeling the effects of for about the last month, right? So I wanted to be protected. So the guardian amulet is on me now. We have several other amulets for you for all different things that you might be manifesting, whether it be health, uh, creativity, fertility, um, uh, abundance, love, whatever it is, you can check it out on alchemybyla.com. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's been supporting me by purchasing their amulets while I've been taking my break. I, it really means the world to me and it makes this channel, you know, you can invest in yourself or gift a, a beautiful piece of jewelry, a piece of art to somebody else while also supporting our, this channel. So thank you so much for that. And I'd also like to give you guys a 15% off discount code uh, for this new moon, just use the word eclipse. You can get 15% off your entire order, even solid gold. And gold is forever, baby. So go to alchemybyla.com or use the link below. It will automatically apply the discount code for you. Thank you once again, and let's get into the video. So this new moon in Scorpio with a solar eclipse is a really, really intense one, which is kind of a given when you um, have Scorpio involved in the mix. You're always going to hear about intensity when Scorpio is, is there because Scorpio is like this... It's, it's our underworld, it's our depths, it's our, it's, it's just everything that's the opposite of the shallow, the opposite of the conscious, it's the subconscious mind. But eclipse energy really amplifies the Scorpio energy, so you can expect to really feel it. Now, it's going to definitely heavily affect anyone with Scorpio and Libra in their chart, and we all have, you know, some sort of Scorpio or Libra in our chart in one way or another, but it will affect all of us as a collective in general. So your individual experience is going to be affected by this solar eclipse. And I'm going to explain to you how. So new moons, as we know, they're always a time for newness, for a new chapter. But since this one is amplified by this crazy solar eclipse energy, we're actually going to start a brand new, fresh six month chapter in our lives. That's going to culminate sometime around April, 2023. So this new moon in particular is super powerful for ending bad habits. And let me explain why. There is a very big energy of letting go and releasing with this new moon, with this Scorpio new moon. And it kind of a feeling of a hard stop, a feeling of there's no going back from this. Whatever you're ending, whatever you're saying goodbye to, that's it. It's the end. And so a lot of people might be afraid of that, but I say use this, harness this energy to end anything that's no longer serving you, right? So it's a powerful time to end bad habits for releasing things, people, and situations that are no longer serving us because this is a definitely like a hard stop energy. 
Whatever you let go of right now, there's no turning back. So yes, this could mean letting go of a relationship or a friendship even, or an opportunity or a way of life or a part of your identity or a job. But you could also harness this powerful letting go energy to end things on your own terms and in your own ways. And I have found that people who are aware of this energy, aware of when these things happen, nothing is torn away from them. It's mostly up to them and their discretion. So becoming aware of this is really important. So if you wanted to stop doing something that's harming you or stop spending time with people who bring you down or just overall let go of an attachment that's just weighing you down, that's hurting you in some way, this eclipse will be really supportive in doing that. You can do that right now. A lot of people seem to be afraid of the eclipse. It's something in the collective unconscious or collective consciousness that's, you know, from decades, but from centuries past where there was no light and it, it just was really ominous. So a lot of people see this as a malefic energy. I personally don't. I look at eclipses as times for breakthroughs. So yes, something big and grand could be happening for us, but it's always medicine. It's always for our well-being. It's always helping us, right? And also it's very important to understand what I was just trying to say is the aware and conscious person can ride the waves of the cosmic energy gracefully. I remember when I was on that one bachelorette back in May and everybody was being affected so much by the eclipse at the time, but I wasn't because I was aware of it. I could ride it out and it was beautifully, beautifully supportive for me. And in the end, I was held by that energy. It didn't, it didn't destroy me. It made me better if anything. And that's because the aware and conscious person can navigate this a lot more gracefully. It, we're not the whim of the stars. They're simply there to guide us deeper into self-realization. It's only when we're not aware, when we're very far from spirituality, very far from our connection to the divine and personal development too, that we're, we might find ourselves lost and confused and, and really taken, taken, every which way by at the mercy of the stars. So for me, this eclipse really screams breakthroughs. Okay, so you're gonna uncover some truths, uh, either about yourself or how the world works or about someone or something in your life or um, you know, just some sort of truth being unveiled. And these truths are going to eventually lead to your empowerment as you step up and decide that you're no longer going to accept this thing in your life that's going to lead to a very powerful release. On the other side of this, you're going to be more you and more powerful and empowered and lighter and relieved too. So the energy of this solar eclipse has been with us for something like a month now. So you may have already started to see in your own life or the lives of other people, maybe secrets being uncovered in, in painful ways, but ultimately it's it's for their for their well-being. So, you know, somebody learning that they've been betrayed in some way is going to lead to their transcendence and a new cycle and a new stage in their lives where they're just going to take the world by storm and that's going to be good for them. And you're also going to have six months to integrate all this, this experience. The climax will be on the 25th. By the way, I didn't mention that is when the new moon is, October 25th. That's the climax. And after that, it's just, it's just six months experiencing and integrating this thing this new way of living for you. Now, I also feel that this new moon and the things that we're going to be experiencing around it has something to do with where we were in our lives last April or last May, April, May, um, maybe even March too. So consider what season of your life that was, what was going on there and see if maybe that comes to be revisited and integrated and closed out so that you can have closure through disclosure and move on to this new cycle. This is all really empowering. Now for the actual new moon, I know I'm not alone, the energy of this time, the end of September and the beginning of October felt very messy energetically. Uh, things may have started to straighten themselves out by now. Right around the 20th is a really good time for getting things in order, for putting plans into place. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but it's a good time to uh, set seeds or plant seeds for the future. Okay. So you're starting your new moon intentions and some people tell you not to manifest on new moons, uh, on, on solar eclipses or eclipses in general. I tend to believe that this is just an energetic and yes, it's chaotic, but it can be harnessed to just supercharge your manifestations, right? So lay out your plans. For me, I'm looking at this as a great time to kind of 
lock in the details for my book to get things done right around the 20th. For example, my best friend, uh, there's a lot of last minute wedding things that are going to fall into place around this time. So I'm giving an example so that you could kind of see where in your life this could be, this energy could be manifesting. On October 22nd, we have um, this heightened Venus energy coming in. This is a time for self-love, for bringing the attention and the energy onto you, practicing self-care and just really showing yourself some deep love. The next day on October 23rd, we have Saturn uh, going direct. So a cycle that may have begun in June is now coming to a close. What came into your life in June and how has it developed? What has it done for you? How have you changed based on this thing? It also could be what left your life and the cycle is ending now. Doesn't necessarily mean that anything's leaving you. It's just that cycle that you started then is ending. Now, I feel that around this new moon, around the 25th, we will receive, like I was saying, a lot of untruths being, a, a lot of truths and untruths being unveiled. So Scorpio is our depth. So things that have been repressed are going to, because of the eclipse, right? This would usually happen on a full moon, but it's kind of getting this full moon energy. But because of the eclipse, things are coming to front and center. Light is being cast onto these um, hidden repressed, Things. I, I feel that meant very much that anything that's not rooted in truth at this time, anything that's not in integrity with who you are, um, it's going to fall away. So know that any friendships, any relationships, any new thing about yourself that stays through this time, that's genuine, that's real, and that's going to last. Cherish those things. As November rolls around, I want you to bring your attention deeply to your health. Stay away from alcohol whenever possible. Uh, get regular exercise and eat a simple and healthy diet. Your immune system is really going to thank you for that. So basically we have this energy right around the new moon of releasing, letting go of things, just a powerful letting go of things that are no longer good for us. We're also going to see a lot of truthfulness, a lot of clarity, untruths be coming to light, uh, things that have been repressed, Maybe somebody has been keeping something away from you. Maybe you've been keeping something away from somebody or from yourself. Just coming to understanding and, and kind of this relief around like, okay, I finally understand what's happening. It's also going to set you, I feel that this six months coming up for us is a time for soul searching, okay? And this can be done while everything is stable in your life. You're settled in, you're settled down. You don't have to go out around the world to look for yourself, right? You can search within. So it's a good time for soul searching. So I want you to set a new intention for the next month, the next new lunar cycle, um, and also for the next six months. What is the next six months going to look like for you? Take it easy on yourself and others. Warning to not get involved in the drama, right? We want to observe and analyze. Drama is going to come up. Uh, focus on your breath. You don't need to be part of the chaos and the commotion. You can be that still calm center of the, you know, the eye of the storm. The warning is to let go of your control, possessiveness, and jealousy around a person or around something that you might want. Work on, instead of reacting Im impulsively, just appreciating and watching from a safe distance. Now I have some journaling prompts for you, my loves. I found these in the book, uh, The Moon Book by Sarah Gottis Diner. Sorry if I said that wrong. So you can incorporate these into your new moon rituals and your self-reflections. I'll write them down in the description below also. Number one, what neglected part of me am I ready to care for? Number two, what behaviors of my own and others are no longer acceptable to me? Number three, what do I really need that I must give myself? Number four, where am I deciding to no longer self-sabotage? And number five, what patterns are occurring right now and where does that relate to where I must make a decision or take action? That's it for me for this new moon solar eclipse. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment below. Let's chat. I love you so much. Thank you for being so gracious with me as I kind of slow down on my content creation. I am coming back very soon, full force. I'm in the middle of recording. I love you and take it easy this new moon. Take it, just be easy on yourself, okay? Practice self-care. Until next time, as always, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Love you. Bye.